Hi, I'm Tommy Sankey, State Representative for the 73rd District, Clearfield and Cambria Counties, and I'm standing here with Secretary Gregg, Department of Agriculture, and while we still have him here, we're going to ask him a few questions. <laughs> I thought long and hard on my way down about what questions I would ask you today, and I promised I'd keep it simple. My first question is, have you enjoyed your time as Secretary of Agriculture? Yes, I have. It's been the uh, experience of a lifetime. So, has it? Yes, it has. Um, I heard you were recently in China. Yes. I don't think you speak Mandarin. I'm not sure. <laughs> but can you tell me briefly about the experience and what you took to them and what you brought back? Well, CC. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, it was a USDA uh, okay. trade mission. And uh, uh, so the first nine days we were with USDA, we, wow. we traveled right up through the uh, rural agricultural area of China. So we flew into Beijing, then over to Dalian, then we took a high-speed train, 307 kilometers an <laughs> hour, uh, which is 190 miles an That's hour. That's pretty fast. Uh, up through the agricultural area of China. Uh, we had uh, approximately, I, I attended 29 business meetings oh, wow. and uh, uh, Tom Manzer from my office, mm -hmm. he, he did 39 business meetings that I know of. So uh, we, what we did was, uh, we're standing right here in front of the woodmobile. A lot of people don't understand that wood falls under agriculture gotcha. and timber. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania is a hardwood capital of the world. All right. uh, I think uh, $11 billion in cash receipts wow. uh, last year. And uh, I know that we exported $1.7 billion in, in hardwood products. Uh, now about two thirds of that amount went to China. And so what we did was we met with the uh, uh, Chinese Hardwood uh, Furniture Manufacturers yeah. Association and other businesses that uh, have worked with and bought from Pennsylvania. We reestablished some of, some of the uh, industry connections and uh, met with them. Uh, it's kind of a formal thing that they like to do. They like to meet the head guy from the state that they buy their <laughs> material from. But uh, hardwoods is a big part of Pennsylvania's uh, heritage and history, and and uh, uh, it's great that it's a great economic Im uh, impact or boom for for Pennsylvania. Uh, my in-laws will be thrilled. They're in the sawmill business, so we're good. Okay, <laughs> important question. Are you aware that the name George means farmer? Yes, I am. And did your parents intentionally <laughs> name you George because you were going to be a farmer? My father's name was the same as mine, uh, but they called him Donald because his dad was George Donald Gregg. So uh, it's kind of uh, a family name that carried on, but uh, I got to keep the George part of it. Now, I asked that question because I'm Thomas, which means twin, but my dad assured me there was not another one of me. <laughs> but my grandfather and my dad and my brother are all named George. So when I was a young man, I always told everyone that my name was George, too. Why not? But uh, apparently I was wrong. Yeah, it means uh, farmer husbandman. <laughs> See, there you go. Yeah, mine's twin, but I, I, I can assure you that's not it. Um, big question, final question. Um, the, the, good, the wonderful people I represent in Clearfield and Cambria County um, have been big fans of yours, big advocates of yours, and really like you on a personal level, and I really mean that. Nothing but good things come out of that area, and it is a farming area. What can I go back and tell them is the future plan for no longer <laughs> secretary, but George Gregg the farmer? I'm going back into the ag, uh, production agriculture. Uh, I still have a 650-acre farm back in, <laughs> in Crawford County, and uh, uh, my brother and I have been in partnership, and he has uh, been doing his best to keep it going keep while going. while uh, uh, while I'm serving here. You're doing the people's work. Yep. Public yep, service. Exactly. Well, I appreciate it, and I wish you the best in the future. Um, if I can ever be uh, of support to you, and I got a lot to learn from you. Thank you all right. very, very much. Thank you for all you've done for agriculture. Thank you.